good guys it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to the hair growth pharmacy in today's video we will be talking about sebum and how it affects hair growth sebum is a natural oily substance produced by our sebaceous glands an article from the Harvard Medical School explains that sebum is a mixture of fatty acids and other natural chemicals which form a protective barrier on the skin preventing any moisture or water evaporation the sebaceous gland which is connected to the hair follicle is responsible for producing this natural oil which hydrates protects and balances the pH level of the scalp the natural oils also moisturizes the hair strands which prevent it from becoming dry and brittle and eventually breaking off leading to hair loss however if the hair follicle is damaged then the sebaceous gland may not be able to produce enough oils to coat the scalp which can then lead to the follicular duct being clogged now if this occurs this can lead to the excessive dryness of the scalp if you have very oily scalp then it is possible that you may have a scalp condition called hypersuboria which is caused by the excessive production of sebum due to hyperactivity of the sebaceous glands and if this is not treated this can negatively impact hair growth as this leads to the development of a yeast fungus which is responsible for dandruff which can then eventually lead to hair loss yes sebum is good for our hair but having an overproduction can clog the follicular ducts and lead to unwanted issues an overproduction of sebum is said to occur in both males and females when testosterone is secreted into the body and enters into the sebaceous glands where the enzyme 5 alpha reductase converts testosterone into dehydrotestosterone which in turn stimulates sebum formation in the sebaceous glands now because 5 alpha reductase is sensitive to hormone levels it goes into overdrive causing an excess production of sebum when testosterone levels escalate however the 5 alpha reductase enzyme may increase its sensitivity to testosterone even when there are lower levels of the hormone present with that it is said that women produce more sebum in the week prior to their menstrual cycle where progesterone levels are higher foods which can cause an overproduction of sebum will include any salty foods refined carbohydrates processed foods and foods high in sugar content however if your sebaceous glands are not producing enough sebum to keep both your hair and scalp moisturized then you can increase your sebum production by eating foods which are high in healthy fats such as avocados or cashew nuts or any form of nuts or such as almond nuts etc or also healthy carbohydrates such as whole grains brown pasta and brown rice etc however if you are producing an excess amount of sebum then these foods can also be used to balance your sebum production okay so that's it for today i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did then please be sure to like comment share and subscribe if you are not already subscribed so until next time we will be right back here with another video